Trevor Bruttenholm, a young Hellboy's adoptive father, tells him a bedtime tale about an ancient battle between magical beings and humans at Christmas 1955. The goblin blacksmith once proposed to the elven monarch Baylor to construct an unbreakable mechanical army. Baylor agrees, encouraged by Prince Nuada, his son. And then the golden army destroys humanity. Baylor makes peace with the humans after realizing the mistake of his ways. There are three parts to the crown that unites the golden army and can only be worn by a person of royal lineage. Nuada goes into exile because she doesn't agree with the truce. A year after thwarting the schemes of the wicked sorcerer Grigori Rasputin to call forth the demonic forces known as Agdru Jihad and bring about Armageddon, a eh? Nuada makes a comeback and starts to assemble the fragments of the crown. He kills his father to obtain the second piece after obtaining the first piece from an auction by sending tooth fairies loose to devour the crowd. Princess Nuala, his twin sister, makes off with the last fragment. Meanwhile, demonic special agent Hellboy of the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, BPRD, is having problems with his love Liz and doesn't appreciate that their company has to run in secret. As he looks into the auction carnage, Hellboy lets the world see who he really is. Ib Sapien finds out during the chaos that Liz is pregnant, but she promises to keep it a secret. Tom Manning's superiors send Johann Krauss, an ectoplasmic medium, to restrain Hellboy since they are furious with him for his conduct. Krauss leads the group in their pursuit of the Tooth Fairies, leading them to a hidden troll market beneath the Brooklyn Bridge. After discovering Nuala, who has a map that leads to the Golden Army, Abe develops feelings for her. Hellboy battles and eliminates an elemental forest god that Nuada sends against him, as well as Nuada's sidekick Wink. Nuada wonders during the battle why he fights for the humans when they have forced the magical creatures, of which he is one, into hiding. Nuala is brought under the protection of BPRD. With the help of their magical bond, which also allows them to share wounds and sense each other's thoughts. Nuada utilizes his sister's location to find the BPRD headquarters. Before Nuada discovers her and confronts Hellboy, Nuala hides the last piece of the crown. After severely wounding Hellboy with his spear, Nuada kidnaps Nuala and demands that she return for the crown piece. Liz and Abe decide to take Hellboy to the location of the Golden Army in the Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland, after being unable to extract the spear shard from his wound. As he approaches Liz and expresses sympathy, Krauss reveals that he had lost his wife in the same tragedy that resulted in the loss of his own body. They come upon the master blacksmith of the Bethmora Goblins, who summons them before the Angel of Death in order to reclaim the spear shard. Liz begs for Hellboy's life despite being informed that she will suffer the most and that if he lives, he will bring about the end of humanity. After taking the shard out of Hellboy's chest, the angel requests that Liz give him a cause for survival. Hellboy becomes better after she tells him he's going to become a father. The group follows the goblin to the Golden Army's final resting place, where Nuada is waiting for them. After Nuada awakens the Golden Army, Abe gives him the final fragment of the crown. Nuada is challenged by Hellboy to lead the army. Given that Hellboy belongs to the Hell Royal family, Nuada has to take up the task. When Nuada tries to knife Hellboy, he is defeated and Hellboy spares his life. Nonetheless, Nuala ends her own life to stop her brother and the dying Hellboy is informed by Nuada that he must decide between the death of magical beings and humanity. Before Nuala passes away, Abe communicates his feelings to her psychically. Liz melts the crown with her pyrokinesis, permanently extinguishing the Golden Army. After Liz, Abe, Johan, and Hellboy leave the BPRD, Hellboy muses on his future with Liz and their child. Liz corrects him, telling him she's expecting twins, 